First matchup there at 157 pounds. He is ranked fourth in the country, the two-time All-American from Prineville, Oregon, Tyler Berger. And he'll wrestle Patrick Spray, the Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin native, wrestled at Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School for legendary coach Louis Bennett. And talk about Tyler Berger, Jim. He wants to get off to a great start this season. Well, that's what he's doing right here, just driving through on a double leg and just getting, trying to get to the far ankle, coming up into a bear hug and threatening Spray and gets the takedown. Took him just 18 seconds, two on the board for the Cornhusker. Coming this way. He wants to come this way. Be ready. Head up. Tyler Berger, these past couple of summers, great opportunities training with Jordan Burroughs and James Green at the World Championships in Paris and Budapest. Yeah, that just, just gives you a, a, another layer of confidence when you're just, you know, through osmosis, just being around all those great wrestlers, not only the James Green and Jordan Burroughs, as you mentioned here, but just all the wrestlers on that. USA team that's just been fantastic performance the last couple of years and you know that helps do a little bit of positive imprinting for Berger but you know as we mentioned in the open you know, Berger is a guy that got off to a really slow start and it kind of it, it got off to a slow start and then it got worse I mean if you go back to this meet uh, a year ago he got beat by Andrew Crone it was like 11 to 3. 11 3 was majored by Crone and then he ends up turning his season around and taking it all the way fourth place finish in the conference tournament and a third place finish in the NCAA is just showing the grit and determination and, and a lot of times you see that from guys you know that have the experience and and uh you know, the grind of the season gets a little bit old, but they keep that Move pilot light on and, and they're ready for tournament time and they, they can open up. Midway through this first period, there's another shot by Berger looking for a second takedown. He's got Two it. Yeah, nice work there, just a little misdirection. And Coach Manning mentioned that Berger is, is really tough in the top position, so look for him, you know, with that four point near fall here, looking for some tilt action. See the flow wrestling ranking scroll across the bottom of your screen and 157 stacked in the Big Ten. You know, one thing about that you'll find out when watching a Chris Bono coach team is that uh, they know what the opposition is going to do. And they, 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 they do a great job of scouting and, and uh, when you hear them coaching in the corner, they're they're letting you know exactly what your opponent's going to do. I mean, they really focus on on, on, on maybe some more, a little more than some programs do about what the opponent's going to do, which side they're going to ride on, when to to expect them to go, when which side the shot's going to go to. They're constantly scouting the opponent. You bring up a good point. It's not only the wrestling, but maybe more importantly, or just as importantly, the tactics in a match. Yeah, I think that they're very tactical. I mean, that's that's. That, that just comes from the knowledge of, of taking the time, and you know, Chris is on. one of those guys on, that has Hold a really on, good memory for what Come the uh, uh, the opponents are going to do in, in just about every weight class. The 16th head coach in Wisconsin Badger wrestling history, taking over for longtime coach Barry Davis. It'll take some time to not see the fiery Barry Davis in that corner for Wisconsin. Well, we love Barry Davis. I've good. known Barry since he's been in high school, and. And, uh, you know, he provided a lot of energy and access uh, uh, to uh, the NCAA tournament and, and uh, did a great job with a lot of his uh, people. But after 25 years of leading the program, uh, not too long ago, they were a fourth place uh, uh, finishing team at the University of Wisconsin. But the decision was made and, and it was a great opportunity for Coach Bono and I certainly wish Barry the, the, the best. Just a great guy in our sport, Olympic silver medalist. And, Longtime coach of the bad, Badger, so stall warning there. On Berger, spray. another leg attack here, short time, 15 seconds. Berger with riding time over a minute. Looking attack on two more later in the first. Hard wizard there from Spray, so some good flexibility, good defense. Nice job is, uh, on ripping that arm off and then attacking, getting his laces up and attacking through, keeping his chest up and his hips down. Those are some killers, Jim, short time points. Yeah. Take a look at the couple of takedowns that Berger was able to get here. Just a straight drive in, double. Was able to lift that arm out. Spray held it. Same thing here. A little more misdirection on this one. One side. Now just actually went straight here to the single, just with the other side. So this is where Berger needs to improve. Even for a guy who's a two time All American, getting out quickly. Set. Particularly when you're trying to chase some team points. Recipe for success in Burger. 
three takedowns in that first period. Finished period on top, and as you mentioned, Jim, that quick escape took him 10 seconds, and he'll go back to work on his feet. You know, one of the things, Shane, I was hearing about the Wisconsin program that, you know, they, they with the their RTC and all, there, there were a lot of guys working out and, and uh, kind of going pretty hard, maybe a little bit harder than what they've done in the past. I think a lot of that's just, uh, you know, Coach Bono and Reader and Matt McDonough right there. You see them in the middle, the national champion from Iowa. Nice little shuck maneuver there. A limp arm after the single leg. But they got after it pretty early in the season. I think just not only does Coach Bono want to see uh, you know, his guys compete, but he wants a little bit more, not, not wait till the middle of the season, not wait till the end of the season to know what he has there. He wants to know right away, are these guys dedicated to wrestling? And you see that with Spray competing in those situations or he's not giving up easy takedowns. Here's another look at that takedown from Berger. Right there, just to, just gathered in there, nice little whip there. Set, don't lose. On top, Red. Limp arm to get out of that. Well timed. Yeah, Coach Bono really hit the ground running when he got to Madison. It's been seven, eight months, and he is nonstop attack, hustle, effort, energy. It sums it up well. Well, and that's what you like to see from a guy right here in Spray, outmatched against the two-time All-American. Looks like Berger's going to get a stalemate out of this, but you like to see that guy in the late in the second period, your guy going out there and taking it to the All-American. And that's a nice job there by Berger, correct, to stay out of danger, Jim? Yeah. See Chris Bono in the back yeah, jumping he's, he's around. Absolutely excited about what he just saw right there. Look at the body language from Spray compared to Berger. I know Berger's winning this match 9 3. He's in command, but again, it's how you compete. Let him go. And I think that's what these hard workouts early. The nice job by Berger with the single leg. Cracked him down here, scooped the near leg, bottom leg. Second period in a row. Berger scores a takedown in the final 10 seconds of a period. Uh, last takedown is something that, that uh, Spray's going to have to get a little bit better at here. Just the straight on offense right there. Nothing special. And, and Berger, you know, doing a good job of not getting his ankles tied up. You see a lot of guys will flop over the top there, attack, attack ankles. Berger was moving pretty well once he got in on the leg. Berger in command looking for bonus points here at 157 pounds. Last year, Berger lost in the quarters at the NCAA Championships to Hayden Heidley of NC State 3-2. And then what does he do? Goes out, gets that next best thing. He was four straight to finish third. Impressive run in Cleveland. Yeah, uh, anybody that, that, that finishes third in the NCAA tournament's got a tough path. They got to get their emotions set. And now he's looking to come back and compete and take the best available medal that he can. Uh, Berger not getting many angles right now, but he's keeping good low position and look for him to go off the reach of Spray. Uh, just, oh, just straight, straight no, no, train no, double. No, no. Lowers his level, blasts right through him, and now injury time. That's it, referee's Angel Rivera, just a blast double. I wonder where he timed that. <laughs> Boom, wow. Like battering Rams. Oh, like Jordan Burroughs right there, James Green. He's felt enough of that himself, I'm sure. Yeah, injury time in college wrestling, 90 seconds. Yeah, that, that was just a hard, that was, you can tell, that's a hard blow for Spray, and he pops back up to his feet in good shape. A little conversation going on between the officials. Takedown, they're gonna give that takedown to Berger. I think that's well called. It, it just uh, get one, Pat. Optional start. Set. You hear Chris Bono there. Get one, Pat. Set. Give yourself something one. to build on. Neutral. Tough task tonight for Patrick Spray of Wisconsin. Oh, Another double leg. Two. And he just gets a, a little slight angle there. Gets Spray stepping into it. And Tyler Berger is the type of guy he'll. You give him an opening here, he'll, he'll light it up on you physically. Any small intricacies, Jim, on that double leg that stand out to you? Yeah, he, he basically, I think, if I memory serves me right, he got a little angle right there. Wasn't straightforward in. Does not showing it right now, but, but wouldn't be surprised to see him 
shuffle to the side a little bit and then just explode in and spray gets to a leg. The hip pressure there from Berger. Yeah, chest up, hips down. And, and Nebraska works a lot off of this front headlock uh, position right there. They, they spend a lot of time and they want to take the guy back down to the mat, usually and spin around. Looking for a go behind there. Still no control, gentlemen. Good, good job of competing by Spray. Tyler Berger improves to four and oh, and this is senior campaign. He'll get the major decision. Let's go. Hey. Here in front of the Nebraska faithful. And the Cornhuskers strike first.